How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, so in this video, myself, Lachlan, um, and his carer, we head up to Hano Valley, fishing in a wild river creek for bass, uh, for Australian bass. Um, we got about 40 Aussie bass um, in the case of two days. Um, it was a pretty eventful, eventful um, trip. We're just using little Ghost Recon uh, 28 and the 35mm Ghost Recons from Bait Shop Tookley um, and the Tiemco Softshell Cicadas. Uh, we'll throw the Tiemco Softshell Cicadas in the early morning and the late afternoon um, and then once that sun starts to come up that's when we'll throw the Bait Shop Tookley Ghost Recon lures, just them little 35mm divers. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get into a good video. Now, I'd also like to state a big shout out to my sponsors. Um, one of them is the major one, Rob Roy from Bait Shop Tookley. I uh, just wanted to say a big thank you for you for doing everything you have done for me um, and us BST boys. Um, and another one is Crony Fishing Rods. Um, I wasn't using the Crony Rockfish this time, um, unfortunately, because it was a little bit too long at 7 foot 8. It's just a little bit too long for these skinny water rivers. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to say a big thank you to them, to your sponsors, and, um, yeah. Oh, it was a little catfish thing. That's a bass. Is it? Oh, I know. Yeah, a bass. How's it going, guys? So, uh, we're here at this wild river. Buddy River, just flicking for a few bass. I'm here with Lockie. How are you? Um, so we arrived about an hour ago. So we'll see if we can't get a few bass. There's an eel tail catfish. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can't get a few bass. It's a bloody nice looking creek, I can tell you that now. We've already walked a little bit of it. Um, so we'll see how we go and see what we'll get. Yeah. So um, this creek looks really good and it seems like there's a few frogs around. Um, so the first thing I'm going to throw is just the little Z-Man finesse frogs in the 2.75mm. And Lockie's going to throw the um, Ghost Recon Ghost Green 35mm crank. From our sponsor at Bait Shop Tookley. So, let's see if we can't get a few fish on these. Oh, this is so fun after crawling through, buddy. All this stuff here. It's like two meters deep below us, so. I don't want to fall in because I don't want to wet my phone. We've already spooked three, three carp. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we've already spooked three, three carp already. So, which I mean, it's. I'd love to catch. I just got soaked. I'd love to catch a carp, but I mean, they're not a very, very good sign. So, no bass has been seen yet. All right, so just a quick change. Didn't get nothing. Well, I got one swell from a carp. Um, on the frog, but just swapped over to the bait shop Tookley Ghost Recon in the Purple Tiger. Um, Lockie's already got two hits, or well, two hookups, and three follows on the Ghost Green um, Ghost Recon. So I think I might try out the Purple Tiger. Sort of looks like a little bass. So we'll see what happens. We've already spooked about four four carp. Um, so, we've walked a little bit up further a little bit, so we'll see what happens and see if we can't get any fish. Oh, there's a bell wave just there. Who's that? Is it? You sure it's a carp? 
Is that a bath? What is that? Oh. I just oh, I don't know what that was. There's a lot of this bloody snot, snot weed that I call it, or slime. A lot of that of it in here, so. Oh. So I just cast it up against that lay down and I'm on. What is it? Oh. Jesus, he's tiny. There you go. Nice little bass. Yeah, hey. Oh, here he goes. Haha, <laughs> first little bass of the trip. Go. So, the gear that I'm using for this bass trip, um, I've got a Daiwa TD Soul LT 2500. Uh, it's brought up with 8 pound Power Pro braid, uh, 6 pound FC Sniper leader, um, and a Daiwa Generation Black Itchy Twitchy 6 foot 10, 1.5 to 3 kilo. And Lockie's using a Atomic Arrows Brim Surface 7 foot, 2 to 12 gram, 1.5 4 kilo. Matched up with 4 pound Berkeley X5 on a 1000 Seamar, 6 pound Sunline FC Rock, they, um, Bait Shop Tookley, Ghost Recon, and Ghost Green. Hey, this looks like a good bloody pool, eh? Huh? This looks like a good pool. Like it looks like it's out to hold back. No, it looks like a good pool. It is hard to look good to be honest. Yeah. Wait. Rob really needs to change these hooks, eh? <laughs> Get the dogs. So much snot weed. That's actually quite windy to be honest with you. Yeah. Oi, it looks good. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a pretty good creek, but wow, oh, so much. Oh my, oh my God, there's so much weed. <laughs> But weed holds bass. Weed holds fish. I can see why this river holds bits of bass, but I just got whacked. What is it? What colour is it? Where'd it go? Hello. I don't know whether you guys can see that, but what about there? The red belly. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, hey, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Hello. I don't want to piss him off too much. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, so just got another nice little skinny water bass on the Ghost Recon. 
purple tiger. On, oh. Missed him. Huh? Missed him. So that's the second it's fish. Ah. Treble in the, ah, there he goes. He got me in the gill raker. Alright, so that's fish number two. Let's go. He got me with this gill raker, that hurt. Oh, little yeah, bum. There you go, that's better. You can try the and get back. Yeah, I will. Just make sure that the people don't see it. <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't mind if it... Oh, shit. I'm sure they wouldn't mind, though. Oh. So much weed. Oi. Look. So much weed. It looks good, but... This is, this is similar, wait, this here, this is similar to that other spot. There's actually like a lot of mullet. Isn't there? Which I do not like. But the good thing is we haven't seen that many carp, have we? What? So we caught what? Two bass. Lost how many? Three. Yeah, three or four bass. Spooked about five or six um, carp. Gone through about how many pools you reckon? Solid 12. Solid 12, yeah, probably. I'll okay. just come up to this last pool and that'll finish our session. Then we'll go back out tonight. Um, clicking cicadas and stuff, like surface lures, when they start to hit surface. So. This will be our last pool here. Might go on to a next one, maybe pens. Okay. So Lockie just changed over to a surface lure. And look at what he freaking nice produces. Cast. Third cast. It's on the pause. <laughs> he got stuck in the tree. Next car. Boom. I've still got the freaking ghost recon on. And here he comes with the atomic cicada. With the atomic cicada, and he catches the bloody bass. Dingus. Bloody good bass, too. That's a nice. Well, first of the uh, for me. Nice Aussie bass. Picked him up off a snag on a atomic cicada. Mm, good job. He railed that. He knocked it. <laughs> Bloody good bass. He'd be about what, maybe 30? Yeah. So I've just been throwing around little Temco soft cell shikata and I just picked up my first ever top water bass. He's not big by any means, but it's a bass. that's a bass. And I don't really care how big they are. They're a bass. So that's a good thing. Do you hook him? Look in your mouth, mate. There you go. Not big, but... He's still a bass. Let's let him go. Here we go. Yeah. Morning everyone. Morning of day two. Um, uh, we finished all yesterday. 
ended up with four bass. Um, I got two on cranks on the Ghost Reef on 35mm Purple Tiger. Um, and I also got one on the TMCO Soft Shell. Bizarre, it's in black. Um, and then Lockie got one yesterday on a Tommy Hard Black Picard. And then we went out last night. We got back at about 9.30 ish. Um, left just before dark and we got we got five or six bass. Um, I've got mine on the River of the Sea River of the Sea wake bait. Um, and Lockie got his on the Ghost Reef on the Bugs. Um, we're just walking back down to the creek now. We're going to go downstream this time instead of upstream. Uh, yeah, we found this. We found a few deeper pools last night. So, let's see if we can't get a few bass today. Um, they're only little rats at, at this time of year. Because um, they just did their spawning, so you gotta, you gotta be able to find all the bigger ones if you want to get the bigger ones. Because they were like actually with healthy. This is very good at this last night. Um, yeah. Oh, it's so swell. Bubbles. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on film too. There we go. So uh, how's that? First cast of the trip. Nice little Aussie Definitely bass on the TMK soft shell. Uh-huh. Yeah, guys. First little bass. And the uh, Tiamco soft shell. Those are the breeding in the system. Yeah. Running awesome. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a cool hit, but. Alright, so I was just flicking around the Tiamco soft shell cicada. And I just got this really yeah, nice bass. bass. I reckon he'll probably go about 36 ish. Maybe a little bit smaller, I'm not sure. Um, that was a pretty cool hit on Tiemco, so let's let him go. Yeah! She's a bit chilly. Four hookups on the bass, two and three. Triple hookups. Nice, um, probably about 25 centimetre bass caught on the Ghost Recon 35mm and Purple Tiger. Get the other hooks out, there you go. Oh, oh he's got a fish. What the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Oh, shit, 
It's quite hot even the little one. Need flies? He just needs help. 